Okay. Uh, oh, you caught me. I am not a real organist, uh, but I do play one on TV, or rather, on your computer, or whatever device you're watching on. But I'm here all week, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, uh, you ever wonder why this amazing apparatus became such a staple in the church? Well, that is why we are talking about this beautiful instrument, the organ, on this episode of Chuck Knows Church. Oh, I better put things back the way I found them. <laughs> call that a stop. Did you know that? Stop playing with the stop? Great. <clears throat> Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart called the organ the king of instruments because with a mighty fist it ruled over all the other instruments in the land. Organ crush instruments. I just made that up. I think maybe he was just a, a really big fan. A relatively old instrument in the Western musical tradition. It dates from the time of Tasibius of Alexandria, who is credited with the invention of the hydraulis, a device providing a consistent air supply to blow through pipes to make sound. Specifically, uh, music-y sound. Now, there are a few examples of organs from the 9th century, but it wasn't until the 12th century that they began to take their place in Christian worship, uh, partly because there was a long-standing preference for unaccompanied singing in worship, uh, and in some cases, it was actually church law. Ooh, church law. That's a, that's a great idea for a TV show, right? Church law. Somebody get me Chuck Norris on the phone. We don't have his number? Good. Okay. Where was I? Um, yes. Uh, it was about the year 1100 that churches and synagogues became the primary places for some of the most elaborate organs in the world. Now why? Uh, because this one instrument can reproduce a sound that might otherwise take an entire orchestra. Like this. Better not. <laughs> Church law. Who needs Chuck Norris? You got this Chuck. Don't tell him I said that. Uh, along with the clock, it is considered to be the most complex human-made mechanical creation predating the Industrial Revolution. <clears throat> uh, to learn more, you can ask your pastor. Uh, tell them Chuck sent you. Oh, and be sure to check your local listings for church law. <laughs> um, I dropped my dolly in the dirt. I asked my dolly if it hurt, but all my dolly could say was wah, wah, wah. I didn't write it. <laughs>